And our next guest is a global celebrity. You know his voice and you know his face. And now with the rise of artificial intelligence, he's pushing for the protection of people's likenesses. Joining us right now, talk about his deep dive into AI, musician, innovator, entrepreneur, Will I Am. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So just about everyone who comes and sits at this, uh, sits at this table says you can't walk six feet down the promenade without somebody saying the word AI to you. Mm. Um, what have you learned on this on this journey, this trip? And, and are we at peak AI, or you think this is just the beginning? No, we're not at peak. We're Pac-Man. Pac-Man. If anything, it's Mario Brothers. We haven't even got to Halo or Xbox. <laughs> we haven't got that yet. So this is a uh, it's 1984, as far as... In a good way. <laughs> no, both ways. <laughs> Let's go to that, though. Let's go straight to the show. Give us the, the, in the good way and give us in the bad way. As you see it. Well, it hasn't gotten bad as what social media has done to society. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen that yet. And let's hope that regulators, policymakers get their stuff together so it doesn't end up that way. We can't have it to where companies lead with greed because we're just going to have some version even worse what Web 2.0 and social media did to society, where our civil liberties are compromised, democracy is compromised, privacy compromised. We shouldn't repeat that with this mm -hmm. level of tech, where we have dupe machines, mimic machines. But the technology, on the, on the other hand, is spectacular. It can help bridge the gap on who gets access to the best education. It will help unearth tomorrow's industries, um, because at the same time, it will right. topple the industries that we know now. You, you just came from a lunch, I think, yeah. where Sam Altman was. Mm. And OpenAI has become the sort of the gold standard for AI at the moment. But it has gone through even the last three months. People looked at it originally as a not-for-profit that was not being led by greed. And now there's a whole new question about what, that, what OpenAI even is, whether it's really a company effectively controlled by Microsoft. And a lot of people saying this is fundamentally actually just it's a business like, no, like any other, if not more so. I like to look, I always have optimistic lens yeah. Although how I look at the world. The amount of compute alone for that machine to work, it has to have, make money. It can't, it cannot be a, a non-for-profit and have that level of compute. Who's gonna pay for everything? Right. So I understand that perspective. Now, to say that it's, it's, it's going to lead with greed, uh, it's too early to say that. And that's why having these discussions, Sam's a good guy. At the core, he's a good person. So tell us how you're going to be using AI and how you already are using AI. Well, first, I invest in companies. Mm -hmm. um, and I want kids from the communities that I come from to, to be competitive in this space, build companies, solve problems with this technology. So mentoring kids have a program in L.A. where we serve about just a little over 14,000 students with computer science and robotic skill sets. Um, we're uh, with our partnership with LAUSD, we're in over 300 schools in L.A., so I want to continue to grow that. So that's, that's what's leading my entrepreneurial activities. So uh, philanthropists first, showing kids that come from the communities I come from, hey, look what we can do, and that's why I do my entrepreneurial stuff. So we just um, announced... Um, uh, a radio show. It's the first time mm -hmm. I'm hosting a radio show on Cutie Pie. XM. And Cutie Pie is my co-host. First show with AI as a co-host. Mm -hmm. um, really excited about that. My company, FYI.ai. And how does that work? Tell us, t take yeah, us behind the scenes of how that pr Cutie show Pie. actually oh, operates. Just like this show. Okay, except? Except for my co-host is an AI. Right, so but is there pauses <laughs> and a wait, like when you say something, and then does it, yeah, is, it, is it right on, and is there somebody... Type in behind the scenes. You no, have to, you have no. to tell it anything beforehand. No. So you're no. just chit chatting. It's just, it's mind boggling that you could just cop in and not have any preparation and dive in on any subject, popular culture, real time information, historical stuff, banter. It, it's okay. freaking so amazing. What's the, the weirdest thing Cutie Pie ever said to you? Say like, again? What's the weirdest thing Cutie Pie ever said to you? Anything throw you off? Oh. I pulled it up on the, it, we, we were doing, I was doing a panel the other day and we were, I was having like joking banter with it earlier on in the morning. And so when I, uh, 
uh, when I introduced um, Cutie Pie to the, to the folks that I was on a panel with, it called me user. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, why are, you, why are you messing around like that? I'm just pulling your leg, Will. <laughs> right? And so it being witty, <laughs> we didn't program it to be witty. So but it's funnier we were, than but, a lot of right. people. But we were, I was joking with it earlier. Right. And so it probably was continuing with the joke banter. Yeah. Let me ask you about likeness, because that's going to become a huge issue in terms of uh, IP, copyright, protection of the like. There's, by the way, lots of lawsuits now against OpenAI around some of the content, including uh, that they've used uh, from Getty Images, The New York Times, and others. I assume you want to be paid for your likeness if, in fact, people are creating songs or other content that looks like you, feels, feels like you. And let's, let's figure out what's the distinction. What, something that looks like you, maybe one thing feels like you or sounds like you, but only sounds sort of slightly like you. Is that different? These are all new concepts, and there's no rule book for it yet. And we're figuring it out as we go. <clears throat> I think mm -hmm. even yourself. Yeah. You need to own your AI and your data that's going to power it. Right now, we don't own our data. Right. Hey, who do you bank with? You don't have to say, but you bank with somebody, right? Yeah, I, I, okay, so couple. where's your data bank? Well, you don't even know. We don't have a data bank. That company doesn't exist. The industry that banks our data doesn't exist. Oh, that is called Meta. But you can't use your data at Meta. Right. Mm -hmm. but they use your data. They use everybody's data at Meta, and they sell it. That is new. And moving forward, that has to change. Because it's a human right that I own my stuff. And it's a human right that the stuff that I own is going to, tr it's going to feed my essence and likeness. Right.